So in our uh, studio gallery here, we also have another new show for us. It's called Town and Country. Um, it's a juried exhibition, so it's actually a national juried exhibition, um, but the artists that applied were asked to either be from Texas or have a strong connection to Texas. So you grew up in Texas, you had some sort of connection in some way, or you went to school here. Um, so that's kind of the thing that holds that together a little bit. But again, this exhibition was put together as a part of that Texas Painting Symposium. Um, through, uh, through TTU. And so um, the juror, Chad Dawkins, was really looking at work that um, expands the idea of what painting can be or what painting is. So in this exhibition, you see things that are more traditional painting, and then you also see things that are very loosely painting. Um, and the, the entire symposium was meant to explore that topic of what painting is and what painting can be. So town and country, again, kind of thinking about those two concepts of Texas. We've got, um, you know, the major cities that we think about in Texas, um, and then also the country version of Texas. Um, if, you, if you live here or you're, you've been here or from here, um, you know that there are those kind of two separate spaces that exist in this state, um, and both are very prominent. Um, so you've got uh, a piece here that kind of makes a nod to that big sky of Texas. Um, and all of that blue. Um, you've got work from artists across Texas and then some that are out of state as well that, that do again have that tie to Texas. Catherine Allen here is the first place um, winner for the exhibition. So with a juried show, typically you get, um, you get prizes for the show. So artists apply to be a part of the show and then they, they might win a cash prize if the juror selects their work uh, to be the top work in the show. Um, which is the case for this. Just a, a real variety of, of work um, throughout the show. You'll see different formats. Uh, John Chen here is a Lubbock artist. Um, he actually a lot of times uses an airbrush to create his uh, paintings on these panels. Adam Farkas, a fiber piece here. Uh, they don't speak for us, so you kind of see this cowboy uh, fabric. There are a number of things, you know, that this message may be saying to the viewer. Um, but you know, you can kind of infer from maybe that it's that that the idea, that classic idea of Texas, or maybe of painting, isn't what all of us are about. Um, we can also see some nods, maybe to um, gender identities or. Um, other things that the artist is thinking about personally as they think about this idea of not one speaking for everyone. Uh, kind of a more classically abstract piece. And then we get into um, pieces that are digitally done. So digital painting is really growing, um, is a growing uh, genre of painting. And this is a digital painting by Emily Potts. Um, another fiber piece. by Casey Galloway. Um, again, a large crocheted piece that really uh, talks about painting by Jane Smith. It's, you know, it, it is a painting. It has painting on it, right? It's been painted, but it's a large crocheted piece. So you see a lot of different topics um, and subjects, which you usually do within a juried show, um, but they're all kind of loosely based around uh, the juror Chad Dawkins' idea of you know, what contemporary painting is or what contemporary painting can be.